Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to some, some more, and possibly the final episode of Gundam Breaker of the new variety. So we have three more stages to do. Oh, I I need to remember. Um, This is my new setup, so if it sounds a little bit weird, my bad. Um, Tell me if it does. I'll try to make, deal with it for either the next episode or the next series, whatever that is. But for now, we need to do Chinatsu's story, we need to do Shion's story, and then we need to do Rekoko's. Then after we're done with that, we should be all good. Um, I'm assuming there's an arc after this, but who knows. Knowing this game, it probably just ends abruptly. Should be fun. Um, I did actually get a full Master Grade Nightingale, or uh, yeah, Master Grade Nightingale. In between this and the last episode. I was gonna upgrade to it, but stat-wise it's like really bad, which is kind of sad because it was one of the most developed mobile armors in the UC, but whatever. I'm curious as to why they're bigging up Chinatsu. I mean, like, what does it help? Whatever. Okay, literally in the last mission, you talked about it. You know exactly what's happening. Oh my. Kinda glad I didn't have to translate this, because I don't know half of what her dialogue is actually saying. Which, I'm pretty good usually, but god damn, do I not speak... Do I not speak current Japanese girl? Basically like Valley Girl. It's kind of weird watching this on three screens at once now. It's like I have the screen in front of me and it's not very... It's much closer than before. And I have my recorder and then the Elgato forward on the other screen. It's like, hmm... Which one do I watch? Come on. Oh yeah, also, does it look any different between this and the last episode? Because my screen's a bit different, but that's because I'm not using a 55-inch TV anymore. I'm curious, it shouldn't be affected by anything, but I'm curious if it is. Because theoretically it's a pass-through, but I don't know what the PS4 does to, like... I don't know where it matches up with the computer versus, or the screen versus the screen modulating it. Oops, I don't want that one. Uh, of course. Um, so this is a 15 stage. And that looks like a sand tropin. Oh no, that was a Galgook. Hmm. And some Dryzens. I'm pretty sure we already have the bodies for these things. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty sure we have the Versago and the Chestbreak Versago as well, too, so. Yeah.
You know, sometimes I wish you would just target the guy, like, who's right next to me, not the one who's way deep in the tunnel, but whatever. We don't have to fight those guys anymore. Oh, hey, Barbies. I don't think we actually have the body to Barbie. So it'd be kind of useful to pick up. You know, I'm not really missing all that many uh, head pieces. I'm actually miss or body pieces. I'm actually ridiculously missing head pieces. Like I have, I think I have less heads and armors than everything else. Not armors, uh, shields than everything else. I swear, what I'm trying to talk about makes sense in my head, but my brain's just like, yeah, no, you can't do that today. I blame all the work I did this morning. You know, trying to get this monitor to work. So apparently, I picked a monitor that has a lot of problems using the display port. The HDMI works great, but the display port broken as fuck. Guess what I'm trying to give this out, or uh, trying to use for this one? Yeah, for some reason, my. Oh my god, Shinatsu, seriously? Yeah, for some reason my graphics card has one HDMI and four DVIs. Or not DVI, uh, display ports. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, you can only use these things. Screw people who need HDMI. Also has a DVI, but that's only for the 144. So my main monitor's on that one. Which is now my secondary, and it's way weird. Oh, we already have 15. Fuck yeah. Oh, right, of course. Mm hmm Whatever you say, Chinatsu. Okay, we, do, we already do have the... Barbie body. Kind of disappointing, but oh well. <laughs> I killed that first and I totally didn't mean it. You see that part that dropped on top of it? It's like, yeah, I can get that. Why not? Yeah, it's only a key part, though. I don't actually need it. I kind of wish that the game actually did work like I had originally thought it was, and the key parts were always stuff you actually needed. Like, that would have been a cool just side thing they added. But of course, that's not how it works. We got a cockpit and a light. I don't know what either of those does, but... Super useful. So does this mean we don't have to build our gunpla in the dark anymore? Aw, oh, yeah. Or does this mean we get the free tech for electricity, so that we don't have to steal it from a barbarian camp? Because for some reason, they know electricity already. Still living in dirt huts, but yeah, they got lights. Ah, 
I could make that so much worse, but I won't. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I like your chest too. Just that part though. The top's kind of annoying. Though, you know, if it was real life, I would totally make a similar comment to, yeah, you too, and get my ass kicked. Happens every time. Or if it was anything like my ex, she'd be like, you're damn right. あ、その前にみんなで打ち上げやろう。前みたいにガンプラバトルしても楽しいし、絶対に超盛り上がるよ。ね。じゃあ、今日は一緒に帰ろう。この後空いてるんでしょ。You Wow, I, again, didn't expect the game to go there. Holy crap. That was the end, too. I was really not expecting that. Sorry, uh, Shinatsu wanted to show me something? Fine, I'll just leave then. <laughs> I know I was supposed to play the straight, but I knew that would work. Well, I mean, if you would have took the vice ca uh, the vice president position instead of Yui, we'd have a lot more time together. But no, she deserved it and all that junk. This is also something we could use immensely. So apparently the principality of Xion is actually a team and we are working together. I always thought like it was some sort of organization. But apparently it was actually a team. Which is who you fight in the bonus stages. No idea. Okay, seriously, if you already put up cameras, the teachers definitely have cameras. Except it. Not that she's a teacher or anything. Oh, see, Shinatsu brought me back to her house to do unspeakable things, including de decals. I was about to say sweet details, which would totally work for her character, but make no sense with that pun. And if you don't remember, I think it was episode two. There's a girl who's talking about her parents are in home and they're gonna put on some sweet decals. Because Japan and all they care about is Gumpla. Then again, if your world if the world revolves around Gumpla, makes sense, at least. At least a little bit. Out of all of the late game stages, I actually like this one the best. Like, honestly, both the one where you fought the student council and the ice one are just kind of annoyingly big. This one's kind of big, but it's very flat, so it works out. There's no like, oh, you don't have to go through this cave to fight enemies at one point. It's like, oh, you have to go around this pyramid. And I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's something from Zero Zero that I don't remember, but for some reason this looks like Sand, uh, Sand Gulch to me from Halo. And I'm expecting Lopez to have his tank somewhere. Which would be badass. And I totally respect a, a Spanish-speaking tank. Did she ever speak Spanish? I know when Lopez took her over she did, but meh. I need, I need to watch that again, but I don't really have the time to watch it again. Plus, you know, I have to skip that whole stupid 
like time travel arc shit. Or no, the time travel arc was the really good one. It was the other one that was weird. The one that comes after that. I really wish they would send something other than GMs at us, but whatever. Who the fuck stunned me? For the record, most of these beam sabers are about the same thing, just earlier models of themselves. Up into the Yegin, where it just basically becomes the same thing everyone has. I think I need the heat sword though. No, I have the heat sword as well. I already have the beam saber for the Gion as well, I already know that. I'm pretty sure those were ones I had dropped before. Do I have the mace from the lupus? I think I have the standard Barbie mace, but I don't know about the lupus. Oh no, I do have the lupus. I have lupuses too. Kind of disappointing, but I won't. Yeah, turn that over, Chinatsu. We can use it. Can't get a grab certain parts mission to spawn. Oh well. Oop, no, not not you. Not you. I don't think I have the Vidar uh, lance just yet. Who doesn't want a dance life launcher? You know, the really annoying thing about that is the main characters never try anything with it. It's like, hey, this we're gonna introduce this cool weapon, and that's it. Well, they did try it for about 12 seconds, but it was literally just to establish setting and nothing beyond that. In a series about stealing your enemy's equipment and using it. Cut off. I don't know what I got those from, but we got the Mercury Lev Sword. Ooh, the Gundam Hammer. That's pretty cool. It's not like we can use them, but that's the mace that the Gundam used. The Gundam X body. Oh, that's the uh, Nightingale's beam cannon. Or shotgun slash beam machine gun. I really like that one. And then the Kumaris' beam spear. I love how the rest of the items we already had. It's like, yeah, you didn't do it for anything important. Oh well, we got the Kamaris' beam sa uh, drill lance. I was about to say beam saber. I don't have beam sabers in that series. For reasons. <laughs> hey, I didn't see any axes there, unless the lance is considered an axe. Yeah, goddamn fetties. 
Well, you mean... You say you're the Principality of Xeon, and then you make fun of Fetties, and yet you like the Beam Saber. God damn it. I have no idea, or... Your idea is stupid, let's do something else. Yeah, I like axes. Though I find the maces from IBO really cool. I just would never use one. Then again, I'm also the uh, user rocket launcher kind of person. If only they weren't shit in this game. Then again, I used the beam rifle like I would a rocket launcher. データ <laughs> Though I do enjoy how innocent she is. But yeah, I think the more focus on melee combat actually made IBO interesting. And the fact that it was more a whole whole entire series about salvage and stuff made me really enjoy it. Oh hey teacher, why are you in this room? No. Remember, we don't know who she is. We won't find out till next year. Is that Yui and Ryoka? I know a Tori is Ryoka. I don't remember what Yui's last name was. Or is that this probably Yori? Nah, she wouldn't care about something like that. Eh. え、<笑> Damn, we're neglecting everyone. Then again, it doesn't surprise me in the least. So I think this is the ranged weapon one. Well, you see, I click the right trigger in square a lot. And then I don't click any of the other buttons, because screw the other buttons. I mean, who needs EX abilities? They're for nerds. Oh wow, I was expecting the, the other one, but this works too, I guess. I guess we did fight, we used that one when we were fighting the student council, so, or the old student council, I should say. 
So I guess it makes sense that we do this one. You know, so we can do all six stages or whatever. Well, actually, because they use the two bonus ones, eight stages. Still gotta love how they gate one of the stages behind pre-orders when there's five other stages and like 30 missions. But you guys don't like content, right? You like doing the same thing over and over again? Right? Everyone loves that. Next you're gonna tell me you like doing new and exciting things. And you know, just wake up every day, do the exact same thing, go to bed, do the exact same thing, and just enjoy it. Which is a little bit close to my actual real life feelings, so I'm gonna stop this now. I need to get new hobbies. I honestly wasn't really aware that the Versago had a beam rifle or a beam weapon, but I guess that makes sense. Not that they'll drop it, but... And we have the beam weapon for these guys already. Have it a couple of times even. I think I have the one for the arch as well. Or the arachnid. Or no, I was calling it arachne for whatever reason. I want the Versago stuff, but don't lock me on, goddammit. Alright, I just need three more and then we can kill that unicorn. I think we already have the FAMAS as well, so we don't have to worry about that. Going. Yeah, we already had the Famas. And if you don't know, I'm uh, referencing that it looks like the French Famas assault rifle. It's one of the generic bullpup ones. Though by France this time, instead of, you know, like Austria or. I think Australia has one too, but it's not as popular. I actually, I have actually used a FAMAS and I really like it, but if you, I ever had to carry it through dirt, I probably would hate it. But I think that way about most bullpups. Give me a Winchester any day. Then again, I know some people would carry around Barretts, and that's like ridiculous as fuck to think about. You know, just logging around 50, 50 pounds of ammunition with you everywhere you go. That's not even counting the rifle, which is like 45 pounds in itself. Then again, you know, them Somalis. We'd usually not get to shoot at people unless they like pointed RPGs or whatever, at wherever we're defending. Because there's some weird rule, I forget exactly what it was, but like, just having a gun wasn't considered uh, an offensive action, but even 
threatening to fire anything larger than the standard AK was considered it. It was kind of... It was kind of different. I assume it was something similar in Afghanistan, but I never got that far, so... They kept me in the horn for most of the war. Yeah, we got a shotgun, got a beam machine cannon, whatever that is. And the only thing we got was this, which pretty sure we have the master grade, but not the high grade. And then a bunch of weapons we already had. I really wish they had spawned some interesting stuff like Kess's Garadoga or the Efrid or something like that. But no, we only get, you know, vague weak weapons. For stuff we fought like dozens upon dozens of times already. I am very much aware of that. That you're watching me whatever I do when I'm at school and that if anyone gets too close, you'll kill them and give them a lot of homework. She just wants to look as you walk by. I know how it is. Whoops. Yep, we got it, so. <sighs> that was that, folks. There isn't the actual battle, it just ends there abruptly. Hopefully a DLC they'll release that, but I don't think so. Um I was kinda really lackluster. Like, yeah, I got to make the joke about them walking by, but That was the end, really? Like really? Hey, do this battle, okay. You're ignoring them. Alright. The end. What? But anyway, folks, that'll be that. That is all of New Gundam Breaker. I will eventually be back if they actually do release the story DLC, but so far I don't think they will. They say they will, but I don't believe it. Um, they also say they're going to patch in a bunch of uh, mobile suits and all the DLC is going to be free, but again, I don't believe them. I'm probably going to be wrong, but who cares? If I am, great. If not, I knew it. Um, I have S-ranked everything. Um, the only things on the achievement list I haven't done yet are play multiplayer. And honestly, I have no real desire to play multiplayer. Um, I liked the previous game where like you could just go through the story with your friends. And this one, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, we could fight over something useless. But why would I care? Anyway... Yeah, I'll try to platinum this, I guess. I don't know if I really will, but I'll try. It just won't be on camera. Um, I don't know what we're going to be playing next. I was thinking about there's one of the Full Metal Pan- or the only Full Metal Planet game on the PS4 that came out a couple of months ago. It got delivered like two weeks after this, even though it, it came out like a month beforehand. And it was supposed to be delivered in a week, but it never was. 
Um, I might play that next. I might go back to Super Robot Wars. Um, with my new channel standing, I'm not quite sure what I should do about Super Robot Wars. I guess I could strip out all the music and just play the game without any music. It would work copyright-wise, but who knows? That'd be kind of boring, though. Plus, I like experiencing the games, which really sucks. But I kind of want to play it. I also want to play finish up V sometime. I was talking about X, by the way. Um, Journey to Jabro should be finished in the next few days. Really need to go back and play it. I just haven't. Um, besides that, I don't know what I'm gonna do much besides that on the PS2 front. Um, MS Saga, I'm gonna try to continue when I have time. The only time, the only problem is it requires a bunch of grinding, and I don't really have time for that. But we're about to get uh, Heavy Arms once I finish up Mount Trial, and then maybe I'll try to push for either the Bow or getting Ultron. I don't, no wait, I don't think we have the key to Ultron yet, I think we need the card key for. But if you don't know, MS Saga is a fa Final Fantasy style turn-based tactical game where, you know, all at least four, four timelines had been compressed into one and it's kind of like in its own AU. It's pretty fun. I actually do really enjoy that game. Um, but yeah, we'll be back one day to Gundam Breaker, but I doubt it'll be for the next six months. Maybe in a year's time when they release you know, Gundam Breaker 4, and they say that they fixed all their mistakes. It'll be better, but it won't be perfect. Then again, they said that they were going to release a new G Generations game, last year even, that was going to have all the storylines, so hopefully at the end of the year they announce one of those, whenever the next Tokyo Game Show is most likely, since the Bandai thing's already done and E3 didn't go out. Um, there might be some battle operations too as well. I know some of my friends wanted to play with me, and then... I was trying to talk the foil through guy into playing with me, because he's actually good at the game, and I am very much not. Maybe that'll come out as well. I don't know. Though I do enjoy that game, it's all in Japanese though, so it should be interesting to play. I do read the moon runes to some regard though, so it might work out. But anyway folks, if you enjoyed the episode, you should like, if you didn't, you should dislike. We will not be back for tomorrow, and we won't be back with this game for a long time. Good night, folks.